So I had it wrong. Tawana Harris is in the last segment. That's completely Scott's fault. No, I'm just kidding. Dr. Felicia Young is here with us right now to talk about your great organization. I'm, it's, it's fascinating to learn that somebody's actually doing something that most people know they need, but don't know how to find it or that it exists anywhere. And I'm talking about Higher Minds of Education, LLC, and the work that you do. Tell everybody what that is. Okay, Higher Minds of Education is a higher education consultant firm where we help parents, students, and community members help students properly complete FAFSA. Let's talk about what FAFSA is for people who don't have any young kids who are leaving high school, going into college, or post high school education. Talk about what that is. It is the free application for federal aid. So mm -hmm. you are essentially applying for Pell Grants, mm -hmm. um, student loans, and any other programs that are through the federal government. This is so awesome because I don't think people understand the impact of that gap between people understanding how to get through that process and actually having the kids get access to resources available, right? Right, definitely. FAFSA is actually a graduation requirement here in Louisiana. Mm -hmm. So every student in the state of Louisiana has to complete a FAFSA in order to graduate. Do you have data that could reflect what percentage of kids are not doing it because of either not understanding how to go through the process or not having help to go through it? Well, we do ha definitely have a struggle with getting parents and families to understand why their students need to do it. A lot of students do not want to attend college because of our great student loan debt. Mm -hmm. they, they're saying, I don't want the debt. But they don't understand they can use FAFSA in order to go to truck driving schools, right. to go to beauty and barber schools, those right. sort of things. So we're encouraging them to do that. Um, how do people f get into the service you offer to be able, because I just had somebody ask me three weeks ago about help with their son, uh, somebody works for a client, and like they're struggling to get through that. How does somebody access your resource? Well, we definitely have a website. It is www.hmofed.com. Say it one more time. www.hmofed.com. Right. Okay. So you can find me there, but I'm all over the state of Louisiana, traveling from school to school, community to community to help students properly complete FAFSA. Tell me about some of the experiences with parents once you've taken them through the process and they've actually gotten it done and their kids are able to get access to these resources? They are super excited because it seems like such an overwhelming process right. and it's really not. But when you have someone there to hold your hand and walk you through it, it's a better process. So what made you come up with this? Well, I've worked in financial aid, can you believe it, almost 17 years. Right. So I was a student who never did FAFSA on time, and so I guess that is now my gift to give to <laughs> students. I never did anything on time. So, so that's how I'm here. That's, that's <laughs> a circle of life, It right? is, definitely. And, and, and you know, are, do you find that there are people who may be afraid to ask for the help because how you know people sometimes don't want to seem like they don't know even when they don't know is that a thing that is definitely a thing okay because you feel like you should know if you're a parent if you went to school 20 years ago you feel like you should know but they may have questions and afraid to ask but we're there to make it a comfortable situation for all that are involved so I'm assuming it's been a number of kids who've taken advantage of this program right? definitely I have parents who are educators who contact me to help their children complete their FAFSA have you partnered with any schools uh, or any, within the school system to maybe have you come in to talk to kids to get you connected with their parents? Yes, I work all over the state of Louisiana working with different communities, especially North Louisiana, working with a lot of parents and students making sure that their fast fits properly. You know anybody in Caddo Parish? I do not know anybody oh, in Caddo well, Parish. I got a guy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right. definitely, uh, definitely. The school superintendent is somebody okay. I know up there. All right, one more time. How can people learn about your program? It is on the website, hmofed.com. And, and I'm sure that you'll talk with them if there's a fee or anything that goes along with this. Definitely. All right, so this is great. Take advantage of the resource. Dr. Felicia Young, I'm just going to claim you as a client. <laughs> That's what we'll do here. All right, Tawana Harris is coming up next to talk about Domestic Violence Awareness Month. And while we're here and I have your full attention, not only is the election going on this weekend, but the Jags are doing their thing on the yard this weekend. Congratulations to all Southernites and go Jags this weekend. Back in just a moment.